All right, this video is for the palpation of latissimus dorsi. Lats, as it's short form known, is a very large muscle that's covering a large portion of the back with its origin uh, and then going up along the side and entering into the arm for its final insertion point. So I'm going to be going through a large number of origins here, starting at the bottom. One of Lats's first origins is going to be the posterior iliac crest of the ilium, which is what I'm finding along here. And as it then goes more central, the next attachment is often references the sacral crests, which are running up and down in this area. So iliac crest onto sacral crest. From the sacrum, I'm going to go up and find the spinous process of lumbar number five and count my way up through all the lumbar, one, two, and one, and then all the way up towards thoracic seven. 10, nine, eight, and seven. As a good visual check, and it also may include this sometimes, the inferior angle of the scapula is sometimes an attachment for your latissimus dorsi. And it's a quick palp note Oftentimes, our inferior angle is close to the spinous process of thoracic seven, so I feel pretty comfortable with that palpation. I'm going to palpate a very broad surface in here because a large amount of latissimus dorsi is actually attached to what is known as the thoracolumbar fascia, which means a lot of our muscle belly isn't starting till it's in the ribs here. And a lot of this is just more of a connective tissue attachment. So as we go then down, the next origin is going to be along the inferior four ribs, which means I'm landmarking currently right now his rib number 12, a little bit up from that, rib number 11, rib number 10, and rib number 9. And at this point, we have more of a muscular fiber to bone attachment. So I'm going to bring his arm slightly away from his body. And I'm going to ask for him to try and push his whole arm up and towards my hand. Good. So what he's basically doing is trying to do some extension as well as I'm resisting a little bit of medial rotation. So again, I'm going to push down on that and I'm going to try to cover a large surface area through the side of his back. Now, this next part, I'm going to be bringing his arm off the table, and I'm going to be reaching down with one hand, resisting a medial rotation and extension. And with my other hand, I'm going to be following up towards his axilla. So he's going to go ahead and resist into me. So now I can feel the edge of that lat. You should actually be able to see me pulling up on it here. And as it makes its way up towards our axilla, and you're gonna relax for me, it gets very, very close to a muscle with similar actions known as teres major. So again, I'm gonna reach down, add some little bit of resistance. So right here, I'm pincher grasping his latissimus dorsi, but just above my finger, my thumb, I should correct, is actually teres major. So make sure that you're going up towards the axilla, you're not grabbing both teres major and lats, that you're sticking more anterior to teres major. We're gonna follow that muscle right up into the axilla. At this point, I'm actually gonna bring his arm into quite a bit of medial rotation, and I'm gonna sink into the axilla and up towards its insertion. Now, latissimus dorsi, is not going to be an easy insertion for you to palpate directly from this position since it's inserting into the floor of the bicipital groove and to get there it's got to pass by the brachial plexus as well as the brachial artery underneath coracobrachialis and biceps and finally to that bicipital groove so you're going to do your best and i'm going to get him to get him to push up in the medial rotation to try to follow it until it starts to dive down underneath. Another option, it's gonna be a little bit tricky on the camera, is I'm gonna to reach to the front of his arm, 
point. So I'm underneath and I'm going to cross fiber his biceps tendon here. When I find that long head biceps tendon, which I have right now, that's in the bicycle groove. I'm going to immediately rotate his arm and show you that my fingertips are on his biceps tendon here. So lats is making its way towards those fingertips, but it has to go underneath coracobrachialis. So you won't be able to follow it all the way through. So that's going to conclude our palpation of latissimus dorsi from a prone position only.